Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Before I begin, like the video, put on your notification bell so that you can know when my up next video uploads. And if you like the video, come down in the comment section. Also, I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe too, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Hey y'all, welcome to my review of Shawnee and Keon's Destination I Do, which is a wedding special with Shawnee and Pastor Keon, okay? So we open up with Pastor Keon at a service. He calls Shawnee to the stage to let the congregation know that there will not be a service over Memorial Day weekend because they're getting married. Then they show Shawnee fixing her first lady's office up. She's getting a textured wall. He's jealous. All that, blah, 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 blah. They talk about how they met in the confession. Really, it wasn't how they met, but Pastor Keon was jokingly saying that Shawnee was, you know, aggressive, accosting him, whatever. He was joking or whatever, but... Basically, they talk about their first date, and Shawnee was just like, basically, the first date was good, but it ended whack because he gave her a side hug. Then they showed them in um, Pastor Keon's office. They talk about these two pictures that's on the wall, and Shawnee notices that it's a picture, abstract art, but it's a picture of a man and a woman, and she mentioned that there's a ding -a -ling. Like, girl, you said, you said ding -a -ling so much. That it didn't make no sense. So Pastor Keon was like, oh, this is going to be a different church. So then we have the next scene where um, Pastor Keon and Shawnee, I, I'm assuming that they're at one of their houses. I'm not sure. Didn't say. Um, they're having breakfast. Her 16-year-old son walks in. Um, and basically, we found out that her dad passed away. And he won't be walking her down the aisle. So the youngest one is like, he'll, he'll be glad to do it. He's the youngest. He should be able to do it. So, um, Pastor Keon was like, we need, um, for y'all to be serious because Shawnee lost her dad or whatever. So, Shawnee was like, well, them being a distraction may help me out a little bit because she said she don't want to be sad because her father wasn't, like, a sad person. He liked to joke around. Son does, so, the son does an impersonation of a proud mom, but his version of it, of him watching Shawnee walk down the aisle and, you know, fake crying and, and taking video and Shawnee and cracking up. So after this, we have them flying out to L.A. They are meeting with their wedding planners to pick flowers, I guess, for the centerpieces for the tables. Um, they talk about they did their food tasting already in arugula and anguilla. was good. Um, Shawnee reveals that she does not have her dress yet. Her dress is being made in India. Keon and his confessional said that he will always be there for Shawnee, no matter what the stresses are. So then Shawnee goes um, to meet her stylist. Uh, what was his name? Eric Archibald to try on dresses. She thinks she's trying on her dress, but when she gets there, she finds out that the dress is still not there. So Eric Archibald suggests that she try on some backups just in case. So Shawnee try on about three dresses that we saw on the TV show and decides that she wants none of the dresses. She said they were pretty and everything, but she want the dress that she picks. So as the ladies are sitting there talking, the, her friends are happy for her and walks Evelyn Lozada dressed in black. And with a hat on and everything, like she going to a funeral. So she claims she ain't know what to wear because Shawnee's going to be a first lady now. She can't show no no titties and no... Like, girl, bye. Let me tell you one thing Shawnee going to do. Shawnee going to make sure Evelyn got a job and is collecting a check on TV. No matter what her behavior was like. I noticed that. Yeah, I noticed that. So Shawnee talks about how... You know, when she went on her date with a pastor, she thought it was going to be boring, but she said her and Keon get along so well, he lets her be her, and, you know, it, it worked out. So everybody said they're proud of her and that she deserves it, and that Pastor Keon got a good one. So Evelyn brings up the fact that Shaquille did a video saying that, you know, when they got divorced, it was all his fault, and Shawnee did everything well, and Shawnee feels like he wished he would have did that earlier because she got accused of doing things that she did not do once they got divorced but she said in her confessional that she's glad he did it because it kind of helped the kids and you know she don't hold it against him at this point it don't even matter to her so evelyn does a toast to shawnee's wedding and hoping that they find um husbands at um shawnee's wedding and i was just thinking so all the ladies there are not married like they're not married to their basketball players anymore i well sh <laughs> evelyn don't matter because her wedding was a no, so her wedding don't even count. So Pastor Keon rented a studio for him and Shawnee to do a Q&A for the congregation so that they could get to know Shawnee. So they, they answer questions from the congregation. 
Um, Keon doesn't want anyone to put any titles on Shawnee because becoming the first lady, there are expectations that people put on her. And he said he only wants Shawnee to be his wife. So he asked Shawnee, what does she want to do as a first lady? She said she's still trying to figure that out, but she knows she wants to work with the women and the children. She also said she's not going to let anybody put expectations on her and that she only want to be a good wife to pass the key on. He said she has shown no foxy thing. She says who says that. But he also says that he um, Shawnee make him, made him realize that he is more than just his job. And Shawnee starts to gush. So they finished their interview. They're back in the dressing room or whatever. And Shawnee, um, Keon, Pastor Keon asked her about her dress fitting. And she lets Pastor Keon know that the dress has not arrived yet. He was like, oh, my God, I know that's stressful. And um, she asked him to pray. He does a quick prayer. He just prays that the dress is there. So Shawnee lets him know that she's going to go visit her mom without the cameras and stuff because she's not ready for that. She's still, she's still going through it because her husband passed away. So she's just going to spend time with her mother to see if she needs anything and wants to just take care of her while she's there in L.A. So they meet up with Shawnee's oldest son, Miles. Um, Miles said he met Pastor Keon and that he grew on him after meeting him. He said they joke a lot and they talk about basketball. Um... Miles said he's offended that he's not a part of the wedding planning process. Um, they say he have jokes. Um, he finds out that, well, we find out that um, Shawnee's mother's not coming to the wedding. She doesn't want to get on a plane or anything like that. And Shawnee's okay with it. Miles said he can walk her down the aisle because he was with her first. He's the firstborn. And um, Shawnee and Pastor Keon look at each other like, this is not going to be easy. So... He thought he he said he thought he was the only option. Miles said him and his brothers could fight to the death about who's gonna walk her down the aisle. Then we have um Pastor Keon and Shawnee. They go to this candle shop because they want to get some candles to give out at their wedding. And also they promote they started a candle line business, so they want to give people a taste of what's to come for their candle line. So um they pick out their candle scent. They pick out the vessel. And they said that they want 1111 on the tops of the candles. So the lady asked them, what does that mean? Come to find out, he has a tattoo of 1111 on his back. Shawnee has one on her wrist. So that's a special meaning for them. So what impressed me about this scene was that the lady was like, oh, I can have y'all candles ready today. Y'all can go and come back and I'll have your candles ready. I need to hook up with her because I'm... Um, I would like to start a candle line. Listen, if we could just put our own logo on it, that'd be dope. So they're in the car. We find out that, um, you know, Shawnee's still talking about the wedding planning, but we find out that Pastor Keon got Yolanda Adams to sing Shawnee down the aisle. Shawnee's excited about that. That's dope. I like Yolanda Adams. Then they show both of them in their prospective homes, um, packing to leave for Anguilla, where their wedding is taking place. Um... Pastor Keon calls Shawnee, and he said he's nervous, and he was worried about her changing her mind once she get there. She ain't changing her mind. She said she's going to marry you in a curtain. He, who, he said he who finds a wife finds a good thing, and he said Shawnee is his good thing. Now, is it me or it look like this scene was given? He in the closet and she in the bedroom. I'm just joking, y'all, but it did look like that, though. So they show them um, flying off to Anguilla, and then the next episode we're going to see them in Anguilla. I guess finishing up their planning and whatever else is going to happen. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Come down in the comment section if you want to talk about the episode. Thanks again to my new subscribers. Peace.